Steve, finally back to playing again tomorrow against Whitby Town. Um, should be a good run out for the players. Yeah, it's um, it's the first real sort of uh, test for us, but we we are uh, we are going to take sort of 20 players along and, and, and do two teams of 10. Um, it gives us another week to build up to the Newcastle game, where probably from then on we'll be looking at playing sort of a specific team. Um, but tomorrow is a good chance to see potentially, you know, maybe the last chance to see some of the lads who, who, who've came in and trialled with us because they they obviously want answers. Um, they've been with us now for, for the best part of a week and a half, so 10 days. So, um, yeah, it'll be, good, it'll be a good chance to see them in a, in a competitive game as opposed to the training ground. Yeah, and a few of them sort of edging on signing on or you get to make decisions? No, I think me and, uh, me and Mickey and Tim have had a chat and, and Collie, um, there's two or three who has really impressed us. They've all done well, but obviously we can't sign everybody. Um, some have just probably impressed us a little bit more than others. So, uh, but obviously we'll speak to the players first. Yeah, and obviously there's a fair uh, few new faces in the squad this season. Um, what can fans expect from a, a new look squad this season? Well, we've we've got um, we've got three proven goal scorers. We've got. You know, We've seen a fair bit of well, a, a bit of Kurt. Not enough because we'd like to have kept him longer, but we know what he can do at this club. He loves it, um, and he was dying to come back, which is great. Um, probably haven't seen enough of Gil. Well, the fans won't have seen enough of Gil, Chris, but we've seen enough to tell us that he's a, he's very, very good finisher, very, very good centre forward. Always in the box, always, always sniffing round, always looking to get um, pick up pieces, and you know, Clayton. Um, Clayton will probably be a different type of player to the last time you remember him, but he's he's very powerful, he's still very quick, he's very fit, very focused, a real handful. So I'm looking forward to seeing how the three of them work, if the, if it's all three together or if it's in pairs. Um, but unfortunately, due to uh, a few of the lads isolating and missing different spells of training so far, all through COVID, none through injuries, um, there's probably going to be two or three missing, so we'll probably won't see Kurt tomorrow. Probably won't see Michael Woods, probably won't see Archie Whitfield, um, but they'll, they'll certainly be ready for Newcastle. Yeah, and obviously with the fixtures out midweek as well, that must have been quite an exciting day for you. Yeah, I mean, not not trying to FA bash here, but uh, we've known we've known the twenty the twenty four teams since uh, at least April. So um, I'm amazed it took so long to get them out. But it, uh, when they eventually came out, you know, it was good to, good to know and then be able to plan. Um, difficult start, but. Um, you know the the, the 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 teams that we need to, to beat and overcome uh, to to get to where we need to be at the end of the season. So um, yeah, bring it on! I'm I'm really looking forward to getting going. Yeah, and obviously there's the free open training session on Sunday at the the new stadium. Um, you must be forward to getting fans in and seeing a bit of atmosphere there. Yeah, it'd be good just to see people in the stadium. You know, it'd be great to see our fans again. It's been a long time since we've seen them. Um, the players will, will have only done sort of 45 minutes each the day before, so we'll, we'll be able to put. a more competitive session on than if if uh, 10 or 11 of them had played 90 minutes so um, yeah yeah looking forward to it. it should be a nice day